Hey guys, welcome to G Whiskey. I'm Jeff. This is a channel where I offer my thoughts and opinions on a specific whiskey. And if you stick around at the end, I'll be giving it a score as well. If that sounds interesting, hit subscribe down below. And with that out of the way, let's jump into our review. Today we're looking at the Arden American Sherry Cask. Stick around. All right, so we're doing Arden American Sherry today, and this is a very sought after bottle. And this is one of those rare instances where I'm not like way behind everybody else. There are a few reviews out there of this one, but not a lot. I did get to this one pretty fast. And that's because I picked this one up recently while I was traveling. If I waited for this release to make it to Taiwan, I'd end up reviewing it in like the summer of 2027. We don't get things quickly here. So for me to have a very fresh release on the table next to me is very exciting. I don't have a lot going on in my life. So yeah, brand new release, fresh off the distillery and yeah people are really scrambling for this one i don't think it's hyperbole to say that art american is now pretty much a hype whiskey which you know i'm glad they're getting recognized and i'm glad people are appreciating them i just hope that they're making enough stuff so that there's no like shortages down the line none of us want another spring bank situation where supply can't meet demand so yeah anyway uh this one sherry cask release uh it was matured in you guessed it port casks <laughs> no obviously i'm kidding it's matured in sherry i'm just i'm i'm being silly just very silly quirky classic jeff so we've got oloroso and px casks in the mix here this is a limited release 14,000 bottles produced and i'm not sure if this is like a an annual release like uh, Kilholman's Lock Gorm, for example, where it's limited this year, but they're going to put out another release next year. I'm not sure if that's the case. I feel like it might be, though. Like it might not be a one time thing, but again, I'm not sure. If you know anything about that, feel free to let me know down below in the comments. Either way, uh, yeah, people are scrambling for this one. It's really, really popular. And so far, it's been pretty well received by like bloggers, vloggers, joggers, and loggers which really isn't surprising. Arden American is a great distillery. It does well with pretty much everyone. It's one of my favorite distilleries. So needless to say, this was one of the top priority like targets when I was traveling. I really wanted to track down a bottle of this. So I am glad that I grabbed some. Uh, and yeah, let's not waste any more time. Let's jump into our review. In the meantime, if you'll kindly leave a like down below, that'd be greatly appreciated. So this is Arden American. We know we're getting good specs here. This gives us a generous 50% ABV non-chill filtered natural color for presentation i do like this look i like the blue label maybe not quite as much as the typical white label that we get from arden american but no really not really a downgrade just different i love the stylish minimalist design looks great four and a half out of five this does say non-chill filtered and natural color it tells us the casks oloroso px uh, we don't get a box with this one which is nice so it's eco-friendly all the essential information is there uh yeah, can't complain. So I did add a splash of water here. On the nose, this gives us a spicy sherry. I'm getting some classic dried red fruits here. I'm getting Christmas cake, rum balls. There's also some sweeter cherry notes in here. I'm getting spices like uh, cinnamon, nutmeg. There's also nuts in here. There's walnuts, hazelnuts, salted nuts, toffee butterscotch. There's a certain mustiness to this. I'm not getting much smoke. In fact, I'm barely getting any smoke. Only like the slightest touch way in the back. Um, nice nose. On the palate finish, this is spicy. It's musty. It's dry. It's oaky. I'm getting slightly more smoke on the palate than I did on the nose, but it's still very faint. There's also some cured meats, like smoky, salty meats, like maybe salami, pepperoni maybe, uh, which is interesting. Uh, if you think something like Ben Romick or Highland Park has a very subtle peat influence, this is even more subtle. In fact, it's almost imperceptible. It's just there in the background. It does add some nice dimension. There's also cherries in here, cherry wood. There's um, nibs. I feel like I've never seen nibs outside of North America. Never seen nibs outside of a cinema in North America. Either way, they're like this cherry licorice candy. They look like that. Anyway, there's also salted almonds, blood oranges, and ginger in here. Medium finish. All right, so this stuff is good. It's not the Arden American you're used to, 
Uh, our American often does have sherry in their whiskeys, but it's an element in their whiskeys. And our sherry here is front and center. I think it works. Uh, Art American actually does sherry very well. If you've ever tried one of their like single cast sherry releases, those can be excellent. As I said, this one's Oloroso and PX matured. And anytime I hear PX is in the mix, I don't want to say I worry. There are a lot of PX matured whiskeys that I think are fantastic, but there's a concern that it might be on the sweeter side. It can come off cloying if it's not handled correctly. I don't think that's a problem here. I think they did a pretty good job of balancing uh, the Oloroso and the PX casks in this. They both add something. We get these spicier base sherry notes, if you want to call them that, from the Oloroso. And then on top of that, we get these sweeter cherry notes from the PX. Uh, I also like the nuttiness that we get on the palate and finish in here. We get stuff like almonds, hazelnuts, walnuts, cashews, salted nuts. Really good. Also, I mentioned this earlier, I love the faint smokiness here, especially on the palate. I think it works really well with a lot of those salty coastal notes. And it gives us like, like I said, those cured, smoked, salty, meaty flavors. Uh, I put salami in the tasting notes. I think that's the first time I've ever put salami as a tasting note. So that's fun. Now this one does come off a little bit young, uh, less so if you add a splash of water. Could this have spent more time in the casks? Yeah, maybe, uh, but it's not really an issue for me. Uh, and to be fair, as time passes, this is opening up nicely. So it's getting more and more rounded. So maybe don't judge this stuff right after you've popped it. Give it some time to open up. I do think this has improved a fair bit since I opened it. So keep that in mind. What else? Uh, this is a sherry dominated whiskey, but it's not a sherry bomb. We do get the Arden American distillate in here. Of course, sherry's the star of the show, it's center stage, but we get the distillate in here, we get that faint smokiness, we get some like ginger and some spices. There's some other elements to this. It's not just a very loud active sherry cask. It's not cask, cask, and more cask. What are you doing here? Get out of here. My score for this whiskey is gonna be 87. I think it's a very good whiskey, and I don't think it's the strongest art in American. I know there's a lot of people out there losing their minds for this stuff. It's very good. It's not their strongest. I think I do prefer them as a more distillate driven whiskey. Um, that being said, I do like that they're playing around with different styles. They're not just sticking to one formula. I think it's cool that we get a sherry dominated Arden American. I'm glad we have it. Again, not their strongest release, but it is a strong release. It's a quality bottle. I'm enjoying it. it does something different. So yeah, this is definitely one that's worth checking out. I don't know how easy it is for a lot of you out there to find. I know it's still rolling out in certain markets and the markets where it's already available, I know it's selling out very quickly. So best of luck to you guys. I hope you do manage to track a bottle down. And if you find one, I hope you enjoy it. It's good stuff, it's recommended. So I found this one for, I think it was 70, 70 euros, about 75 bucks, about 60 pounds. And I'll be honest, that's probably at the high end of what I'd be willing to pay for this. I do think I got my, my money's worth and I am enjoying it, but I wouldn't spend more than that, put it that way. The AD releases, the standard AD releases are cheaper than this. I think those offer better value. The cast strength releases are roughly on par in terms of price, and I think those are better whiskeys. So this isn't the strongest release from Arden American in terms of value, but it is a good one. It's a different one. It's worth checking out. And if they put out another one next year, I'll be looking for that one too. All right, that's gonna be it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you wanna help support the channel, I do have the Patreon. Otherwise, you can like, comment, subscribe. I always appreciate it. And of course, I do wanna hear from you. Have you tried the Arden American Sherry? What other Arden Americans have you tried? Which one's your favorite? Let me know down below. Finally, down below in the comments, you can let me know what you wanna see me review next and I'll keep it in mind for my upcoming videos. Bye guys.